Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 17 of Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to add in line spacing before and after the paragraphs. So as you can see here there's actually a blank space in between these paragraphs and if I were to click it it actually goes to the top because I've enabled something called line spacing. So if I were to select these paragraphs like this, uh, for example, and go over here on to line spacing, you can see the line spacing option. You can see that I have an option called add space before paragraph and remove space after paragraph. And let me just click on remove space after paragraph and you can see that the line actually continues. And what we tend to do as word users is just press enter and keep a blank character right here. And this is not a good practice actually. So whenever you type in a paragraph in Microsoft Word, it's uh, good to just press enter once and then uh, type in another paragraph just like that. It's because like this is actually important for line spacing and you don't want blank, uh, a blank, a blank spaces all around uh, to make it look clunky. So uh, I want to add in space after its paragraph automatically. I'm gonna let Word take care of it. So I'm gonna select all of the text just like this. And over here, I can see I want a space at the top as well. So I want to keep a line, add space before paragraph, as you can see. And once I do that, uh, after, before any paragraph starts, it will automatically add a character long space right there. And this does not include a blank space. So you can see that this has been divided quite automatically without us having to do um, a manual effort. And this will also keep the formatting uh, quite, uh, um, quite consistent if we were to do that. And now I can also use a combination of uh, before and after as well. You can see that it'll actually add a space right there. So you can see that at the top there's one space. If you add a space, you can see that I can actually add in two space. If I were to select it all uh, and then go over here onto add a space, you can see that now uh, this is the default. And if I were to go add space after paragraph, uh, you can see that it'll actually add it over here. It does not actually add it anything there. So anyways, if I were to add it, you can see that now I can actually add and uh, it actually will increase one more. So let me go to add paragraph and you can see that th there's more now. And now I can also go back over here and then remove the space uh, and that will actually bring it back to normal. Um, besides doing this, I can actually uh, also increase the uh, line spacing over here. So let's say I can go over here and you can see that now I can actually select these points so you can see that I can create space between lines as well. So except, for example, I want to create some notes over in the between. I may want to add some space in there. So I can increase this to 1.5 and you can see that this is more even now. And what I can also do is I can manually set the paragraphs even more. So you can go over here and go to line spacing option. You can see that you have the alignment option over here and the outline level of the body. You have the indentation level as well. So you can see that you can actually indent the paragraphs just like this. I'm going to press control Z over here. You can go to line spacing option right here. There's indentation on the right as well. You can see a little preview over here. I'm just going to leave that to zero right here. And you can also mirror it indents. So you can see that this will actually indent both of the mirrors just like that. All right. But anyways, uh, I'm going to press zero right here. And uh, over here, you can just indent the first line as well. So you can see that you got the options like these as well for a paragraph like indentation. So you can see that you don't have to add in a tab or anything like that. You can also increase the uh, specific spacing option before and after. You can type in the points that you want. Let's say, for example, I want something like uh, 21 points and line spacing to be exactly uh, let's say I want to, it to be 1.73. I can also do that 1.7. Let's say, for example, you can see that I can have those exact line spacing just like that. But that actually looks quite horrible. So I'm going to change that line spacing option. So this is, uh, I'm going to say 17.5 points and press OK. And you can see that now I have a perfect line spacing. So you can see that this is how you can adjust line spacing inside of Microsoft Word. Uh, to get the document the way you want to uh, want for it to look at. So that's how uh, you use line spacing. I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.